What's going on everybody? Car Guy V8 here. And in front of me, we have a fairly fresh 383 stroker. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to put in a distributor for the initial fire up. And I've used this method many times. There's a ton of different methods to do this. There's a lot of them. But this method I use is very simple. You may have seen it before. And so far I've never had it backfire through the carb on the initial start. It's been timed fairly close within, you know, several degrees of course, but good enough for the initial fire up and it's really easy. So right here we have my HEI distributor that's going in this engine and I've already used a paint pen to mark where cylinder one is. That's cylinder one on a uh, HEI or any Chevy distributor. You can technically make any wire cylinder one, but this is the right one. And the reason we mark that is I'm gonna go ahead and pop the cap off, set that on the ground. And the reason we do that is so that you can see where the rotor points visually. Like that, when it's all said and done, should line up fairly closely with pop dead center if this matches the paint pin mark. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate the engine until we get to the top dead center of the compression stroke, which this is cylinder one. We're timing it off of cylinder one, as you saw the mark on the distributor. So we're gonna rotate this engine and we're gonna feel for compression, you know, trying to push your finger out of the cylinder one spark plug hole. And I have the harmonic balancer off right now so I can use my crank socket I much prefer using this as opposed to the crank bolt because worst case scenario, you can pull threads out of here. So if you have to use it, like if your engine's in the car and you'd rather use the crank bolt, make sure all your spark plugs are out just as an extra safety precaution or get somebody to crank the engine over for you using the starter. But let's go ahead and start this off. I've got it fairly close already, but this will give you an idea. Let's see, so I'm gonna find cylinder one with my finger. This will look kind of awkward because I've got the camera in front of me and I'm having to be at a weird angle, but let's see. Can you feel that, you hear that? That compression leaking. All right, there, it's just about stopped. I'm gonna grab my harmonic balancer here just to mock fit it let's see come on let me find the okay right there that's about 10 degrees before top dead center so we've got a little more way to go to find zero degrees let's see uh, right there that's probably it i like to time it whenever this is at zero degrees oh my goodness perfect look at that so now the fun part, the distributor. Okay, so on the bottom of the distributor, you have the distributor gear. This meshes with the camshaft, and this in turn spins the distributor, and also you can see there's a little metal solid line going through the bottom of the gear. That is what connects to your oil pump down there. Now, if you don't drop it in and it sit perfectly flush, as long as the gear is meshed with the cam, you can spin the engine until the distributor drops down on the gear and it will hold its time. That might not make sense right now, but you'll see it in action here in a second. So we've got the line that I, that I drew right here for cylinder one. You want the vacuum advanced somewhere at an angle like this. And whenever it meshes with this gear, it spins, it spins the rotor a little bit. So we're gonna set the rotor to about right there, and the uh, mark's gonna be about right there. Let's do it about there, actually. So, let's drop this in. You'll see as it starts to mesh with the distributor gear. Oop, wow. That actually popped right on the gear. <laughs> I didn't plan that, that was actually great, but looks like Actually, that is not gonna to be too bad. I'll show you what I meant anyway. That actually went on easier than I was expecting it to. So usually what would happen is this would stop about right here and you'd have to rotate the engine until the uh, bottom of the distributor gear meshes with the oil pump and it just pops down just like that. So man, I'm honest, I did not plan it to pop on that easy. 
So right here would be cylinder one. So we've got it at zero degrees on top dead center. So we're gonna rotate it about 10 or so. I think that's gonna be about there. So that was counterclockwise, which that means that's advancing the distributor. So as long as the balancer is correct, that this is zero degrees, as long as it's correct, this should be somewhere around 10 degrees before top dead center on cylinder one. So this should fire up and run like an engine that's run before. So guys, I hope this made it simple. As you see, it's very easy, it doesn't take much time. I tried to make this video as short as I could. So there we go, maybe your luck will be as good as mine and it just pops right down.